Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Tanner, and on this video I wanted to teach a little bit about hip anatomy. Uh, this is an introduction to hip arthroscopy, and so the purpose of my discussion is to point out some features of our uh, anatomy, uh, tell you a little bit about the hip joint. The hip joint is a, a ball and socket joint. The uh, socket is formally called the acetabulum, uh, acetabulum li literally meaning the uh, socket enclosed uh, teacup portion of the hip joint. Around the edge of the uh, teacup is a rubbery rim. Uh, we have a squeegee that's approximately the size of your windshield wiper that uh, adds stability to the hip joint. Uh, this labrum helps to massage the lubricating fluid of the hip joint into the ball. The ball is covered with an articular cartilage. This uh, ball is a sphere and has a uh, white uh, shiny coating uh, and uh, matches the uh, coating at the in interior of the hip joint. I wanted to go on and talk about uh, the muscles around the hip joint. Uh, there's a very large muscle at the interior of the pelvis. This would be the very front part of the uh, pelvis. The back part of the pelvis that hooks up with the back is here. And uh, uh, this uh, pelvis is coated with muscles. Important is the hip flexor. Our formal name for it is iliozoas. But this hip flexor wraps over the front of the hip joint and attaches to the uh, femur. Uh, and its uh, job is to pull uh, the hip up, such as when you're trying to uh, go upstairs. Uh, at the uh, side of the uh, pelvis are the great big gluteal muscles, uh, big muscles that uh, wrap around the top part of the femur. Their job is to lift the leg outward and back. So gluteus muscles, if you imagine, as we lean forward, uh, will help us become upright as it, when we're lifting something. Also, we have muscles around the back of the hip joint uh, that uh, act to uh, turn the uh, ball back and forth. Uh, the ball is wrapped in big uh, ligaments that help uh, provide security. Now to carry on from the previous segment, I was talking about the hip flexor muscles from the interior of the pelvis that wrap over the front of the joint to attach to the top of the femur bone. This knob is called the lesser trochanter. The job of those muscles is to lift the leg or flex the hip. The big muscles on the side of the uh, pelvis uh, help to uh, uh, lift the femur to the side and back. When uh, during the procedure of hip arthroscopy, we place uh, tubes or we make a, ch a small channel to work through. In doing that surgery, we place traction on the leg uh, so that we create a space to work in the hip joint. Now, uh, more information about hip arthroscopy is in the content of the text uh, below this uh, video. Uh, and this video has been an introduction to uh, the anatomy of the hip joint. Below uh, is a description of problems people can have with their hip joints. Uh, you will see um, uh, pictures and video of arthroscopic uh, surgery that may be of interest uh, to you. Also, there is a full description of uh, post-operative cares after hip arthroscopy.